Recently, Army Recognition had the chance to visit the FNSS factory in Turkey. The perfect occasion for us to learn more about the past scout vehicle family. Welcome to uh, FNSS, to Army Recognition. Uh, thank you very much for your uh, question. Uh, behind me you can see the, one of the newest additions to our PASS wheeled vehicle family here at FNSS. This is the PASS scout uh, vehicle. Uh, the configuration you can see behind me is the 6x6 configuration and it also comes in an 8x8 configuration, both of which we have under contract and we're in the design phase uh, developing the vehicle for the Turkish Land Forces. Some key elements uh, of this vehicle, it pulls on the already proven protection and mobility systems of the PASS family so it offers a high degree of mobility and protection to the Turkish land forces when it will enter service. It has some of the unique features of the past family of vehicles with the driver and commander position at the front of the vehicle. Unlike some of the other past uh, family of vehicles, uh, the vision offered to the driver and commander is through ballistic windshields offering a high degree of visibility in the battlefield. Uh, the vehicle has a high degree of local content for the Turkish market, including a locally developed power pack uh, for both the 8x8 and the 6x6 variant, um, locally developed hydroponatic uh, suspension for ride comfort, and a uh, large number of mission systems from Aselsan who we're working with um, to help equip this vehicle. This will be the first a uh, wheeled vehicle of 6x6 and 8x8 type to enter service with the Turkish Land Forces. Uh, this fact FNSS is very proud of. Back in 2014, when the Turkish Procurement Agency released its requirements uh, for these reconnaissance wheeled vehicles, FNSS embarked under its own funding uh, a, an internal um, research and development project to develop the past scout vehicle. Uh, this, the result is the vehicle that you see behind me today, uh, developed since 2014 and uh, currently undergoing testing under FNSS's test and verification teams. Um, it is FNSS's uh, ethos to design its vehicles for its customers' requirements, um, both uh, in terms of operations and usability uh, of the vehicle and what you see uh, is the result of three, two to three years effort of design and development by FNSS. In terms of the subsystems on the vehicle, we have the engine developed by a local uh, firm, Tumasan. Uh, they're developing two different power packs, one for the 6x6 and one for the 8x8. We're working with a couple of local companies to develop the hydroponatic uh, suspension system uh, for the vehicle uh, in order to achieve very good ride ha handling characteristics on the vehicle and as I mentioned earlier we have strong cooperation with Aselsan for the mission systems, communication systems and other uh, subsystems that are needed for the vehicle. 